So what did Donald Trump say recently? We like our country. Patriotism, not globalism. Well, now it's understood that global uh, growth may be affected as the United States moves away from globalization. Yeah, it's been accused of becoming increasingly isolated. That view, according to Investex Head of Investment Income, John Stoppard, he was speaking on the sidelines of the bank's Global Insight Workshop. U.S. President Donald Trump's America First stance means tougher economic times for emerging markets like South Africa. This as the largest economy in the world moves away from globalization. Investec asset manager John Stopford says Trump's policies mean growth for the American economy at the expense of the rest of the world. He says Trump's policies are likely to affect global trade, which has underpinned growth in emerging markets. We're moving to a world where the U.S. is stepping away from globalization, and that has um, big implications for for global growth, for uh, uh, global trade, for global um, uh, inflation, uh, and so on. I think it's hopefully the goal of everyone else to continue to push for freer trade. So we had, for example, Europe and Japan signing a, a, a trade treaty that gets implemented earlier this year. A stronger U.S. economy means a stronger U.S. dollar and higher interest rates for the superpower. This is bad as it is likely to spur capital outflows from emerging markets as investors are likely to move their investments from emerging markets like South Africa to the U.S. because it is seen as a safe haven. You can't export to countries if the economy is aren't growing. So if you just have a myopic view about protecting American industry, what about your exports? And you know, you need a healthy economies around the world to buy American exports. So that's why a lot of his focus or a lot of his policies are, are short term in nature because he doesn't really care about the longer term. So longer term, it's not viable. It's not, that's why the businesses, the business leaders who have to think, you know, 5, 10, 15, 20 years down the road, they're so appalled by his policies. A strong dollar coupled with a weaker rand could mean higher inflation for South Africa. This means that South Africans will pay more for imports. Balint Lemtetwa, SABC News, Johannesburg.